Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. So um, I'm down here with my uh, entrance strap that was in the last episode and uh, I've done a bit of work off camera. So um, it's quite a bit of work, so I'm going to show you just quickly some of the enchanting preparation I made for it. So uh, got some good stuff, got some bad stuff, so here we are. So yeah, a couple of uh, nice picks there, but uh, the sword not so much. We've got some good picks at least, and um, this is what it led to, me doing it off camera. That was weird, the blocks disappeared. Okay, so I just did a uh, simple piston door, there's nothing too fancy there, it was just a bit awkward fitting it around the wiring from the other door, so I didn't bother recording that. Um, so yeah, this is what I've made, it's a train station basically and what this does is, I'll quickly show you, you walk over this you get in the minecart bugs out a bit on that bit but it's okay and this just leads down to my desert temple area and uh, obviously this is just a whole lot of digging so I didn't bother recording any of it I actually now am live streaming when, not right this second but I have a live stream set up to do things like this with the, the things that I won't be recording such as uh, large digging projects like this which is at uh, Twitch TV good that works okay and then we got the obviously the same over here we got a few dispensers my carts and this is just a big spiral staircase that leads out near my desert temple arena thing whatever but um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to start working on this today oh god Sometimes this screws up. Come on, work. There we go. Bit of an issue with lag and the way rail switch and all that has made that one a bit awkward. Yeah, what we're going to work on is um, decorating this for a bit. We're going to just a little bit of a break from the temple still after the last time. I thought we were, I want to work on this a bit. And uh, one of my friends, uh, I was trying to think of how to design this, and they said uh, try and do it like sci-fi, steampunk sort of thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go at that. I've n I don't usually do things in that sort of style on Minecraft. I usually uh, build in sort of medieval sort of style. So what I've gone and done is gone and gathered a load of different coloured wool because I do have an idea. So what I want to do is grab all this wool. Okay, let me throw it. So we're gonna. Ow! I think it's a bit awkward. What I want to do is sort of um. It's hard to explain. I want to put a sort of lighting system in these walls. I've also got an idea here. Actually, it'll go one further back. It'll go just around here. For a sort of decontamination screen using flowing water into down into holes and all that. I've actually come up with a way to do it that I think will look quite good. But obviously, we got, we're going to leave that to last because I don't want to mess with water when I got all this around here. So, uh, what I want to do is dig all this out quickly because I want to test something so if we get this I want to see how I want to sort of metal texture but obviously I don't have enough iron to do this entire damn thing so I want to see if white wool will work and let's take out this side as well and, um, I'm sort of doing this on the fly I figured wool would be best because it give me a selection of different colours to work with. There we go. I think that might work actually having a... Oh god no, get back here. Get back! 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 <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll probably have to take out the pressure plate just for a bit and replace it with a button. It's just the pressure plate was easier to start with. So let's get rid of that. And the floor apparently as well. Let's put that back in and I'll quickly replace the floor block. So we're not worried about that at the moment. We can just get on manual if we need to. So I think the white wool might work, and um, if I do this entire area in white wool, because then I've got an idea to go with that. So I'm going to quickly replace this wool and just show the idea I have. Oh god, a bit of lag. 
Yeah, the server's a bit laggy at the moment, but that's partly because I'm uploading my latest cave gen episode, which I've noticed is quite a bit more popular than this, but I'm fine with that. So all we want is, we want to make all this, then I don't know if it's true of every hospital, but some hospitals I've seen. Let's go get some colour wall and some signs. Okay, so it'll make sense when I actually make it. So some hospitals, what they do is they colour code the wards. So we'll get this. And let's for now let's just get some blue and some red since they're the most common colours I have. So what we want to come on, there we go. So what we want to do is take out these. This, these two rows. I might make this a uh, extra block higher in the future, but I've still got to decide. And we're just going to go red, 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 red. And then we get the blue and we will put it along here. So then the sign would be like, let's do the blue for desert. Let's put it down one actually. Desert um, arena. And let's just say there's an extreme hills that way, so let's put extreme hills. If I can get my formatting right. There we go. So what that'll do is it'll just lead off this way and I'll do the same on the other side of two different colours. But then when we get the here, let's take all this out quickly. Uh shovel? Yep. Awesome shovel is awesome. So we dig all this out. So I can sort of, you'll understand when it's done. Uh, some of you have probably worked it out already. It's uh, quite a simple design. Yeah, but I might make the ceiling one higher so I can fit three rows in per side and then do three stations. So now we come round and we just do this. We go along here. I've got plenty of white wool because um, all I did was build a sheep farm. They're like just a little pit for the sheep and then breed them and then dye some of them. But white wool is obviously the most common one. So then we do this. I'd say the next station would probably be around here, but for now I'm just going to do this. And then obviously the extreme hills was red, so we're going to continue on the red pattern to wherever this is it's going to go. Whereas the blue one's now stopped, so you, if you know which colour each one is, you can easily stop there. I might also sort of dig that out quickly. We change this to blue, then you can clearly see that's the uh, desert area. So I think that's a just a quick little way that will help me and anyone else who comes here get around. What I'm also going to do is I need to do something here because obviously it's now showing up on this side. Um, these gates I'll probably make out of iron. These first ones, so I'm not too sure with the dispenser. I could just move the dispenser one forward or something like that. I think the colour coding will work and I do like how the wool looks on the wool. Uh, the wool looks on the wall, sorry. Speaking the Queen's proper English now. But um, there's always going to need to be some trim and details and stuff to make it seem more sci-fi slash steampunk, whatever I'm going with. But I'm definitely going to use this sort of separation design. So take these out. Trying to be careful not to take out too much with this shovel. Okay. And I'll just, um, I don't know what colour I'll use for this side. I might use, I don't have any green wool yet, so I could do with getting some of that. What was this way? Oh, this way is going to lead over to a um, snow biome. This one. I don't need to spill that as a sort of example one though. Let's see what we got. We got black, we got yellow. Um, what colour do I want to use? I've got a little bit of brown. I might use the dark grey. See how that looks. See how dark grey looks. It's a bit, it's a bit dull, but um, I'm actually going to change and use blue here for something. Probably use that one for the winter biome. But I want to take all this out. I don't want this to be blue. I want this to be yellow, so there's a bit of colour coding as well going on there. So we can see it's obviously going to lead to the desert. So just got to stick the sign back on. 
Desert Arena. And then this will be the winter biome. Don't have anything for this one yet, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good way because you can come in, you can just check all the signs and go, I want to go to that one, rather than going, no, no, no. You can just find it out just with a glance where you want to go. So we dig that out and we'll put it in the dark wall. I think the dark wall works for this one because um, we can't use white because that's what we're using for all the walls. So I think that one works best. Um, I did want to use some lava in here, but now that I've decided I want to use wool, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. And I'm going to have to come up with a different way of lighting this place. Because originally what I was going to do, i uh, dig out on the other side after I fill this in. So I'm going to need a lot more wool, I know that's right. I was going to dig these out, fill those with glass, and then just behind them put flowing lava. And I thought that would have been quite a nice sort of lighting system, as well as sort of fitting in with the... I guess it's sort of fixing with the sci-fi theme. It's a bit more sci-fi than like uh, medieval, I'd say. But now I'm going to have to think of something. I might try and do a system that I'm trying to think of how to do it. I would like a system where you drive over plates and they activate lights or something like that. But then obviously things will be spawning down here and it's a long corridor so a lot could spawn. So I've still got to work out the lighting. For now they're just hanging up there. Right. So I just, I'm going to need a lot more white wool though. I can tell that. And I'm probably going to need some more of the other colours. Um, I don't think I'll have enough iron to do... No, there's no way I'd have enough iron to do all of these, this is iron. So I think I'm going to have to come up with another material that I think would work, it looks sort of metallic. Um, mm. The new gravel texture would work, but obviously you can't have it floating up here. You can have it on these ones if I left the torches, but you wouldn't be able to have it there. Or maybe if I put glowstone there. If I put like glowstone or redstone lamp there, Oh, actually, there's nothing to support these ones, is there? Never mind. I thought it might have been on the site. Let's have a quick look how this looks. Yeah, I think that would work, having the, the wool going all the way down. Because it does have a sort of metal-y texture with this pack on. So I think that could work quite well. So, let's see. Okay, let's. I'm going to give it some iron. Some iron blocks. And we we'll go work on the entrance. Alright guys, got a few supplies now to work with. So I'm just going to take all this out. Get rid of all of that. And then we're going to go iron, iron, iron. One of the issues I have with iron is it doesn't look very metallic. That's an issue. I might move that forward if that's the case. But iron doesn't look very... I don't know, it does look metal and at the same time it doesn't. Let's put some light there. So I think that works. The iron, I think the iron gates will definitely work. I'm going to keep them. So do another one here. I want all the tunnels to sort of be the same as well, but I may change the floor of each one depending on what biome you're going to. So obviously this one leads to a sand biome, so I might put sandstone along the edge. But uh, I've brought these half slabs along, so I want to try doing these sort of pillars out of half slabs because I think with the way they sort of stack in squares rather than becoming a solid mesh thing it could work I'm going to put some of this wool away quickly just so I don't have a full inventory yeah, this is definitely going to be something that's going to take me a little while to do um, not least of all because I'm not used to this style it's something new I'm trying, so I'm not sure how it's going to come out. So I, all I want to do is just put stacks in like that. And fill that up like that. Place them on the roof first so I can actually... It's so much easier to place these now. I mean, if this was back in the old days, this would be near impossible to do this easy. I know you having to dig into the roof and... ooh. 
that's something I could try. Let's take those out and let's go block, block, block. That could work. What if we change these as well? Obviously I'm going to have to think of another lighting system now, but... Hmm... That might work! And if I alternate them, so this one would be... Let's take it out. It's a big hole. So this one would be top down, rather than... Oops, not there. Uh, I'll just put light on the walls for now. I think that might work. I'm not sure about this roof bit, but I think doing the um, half stabs like that definitely is something that might work in my favour. So that's got to be filled up. The issue is I don't want to overuse them because I'm already using them underneath the rails, but you can't really see that. Let's stick that out there. Okay, let's do the same on this side. Double click each one. Oops, um, can I? Yeah, I can get in there. So I think that might work quite well. And then I could put something uh, like flowing water behind that. Do I have a bucket on me? Yeah. So we can quickly see how that looks as well. So if we have this like that, taken out like that, put the water in there. I'm just going to have to quickly build a stack. Just so I can go, these ones are bottom. I think that I think that might work quite well. It gives it a bit of um, bit depth, like it's a bit unusual as well, isn't it? So I think that might work well. This design, obviously, let me know what you think. I would like would have liked to use lava, but obviously with the, all this wool, I just don't think it's an option. Uh, I'm gonna go quickly grab a bucket of water and try it out on this side and a few others. So I'll do it on these four and be right back. All right, guys. So I've done these four just as a sort of example one. Let's put some right there. And I, I think it is quite good. Uh, I think we do need something in these central walls. I might just put redstone lamps in these sections, something like that, and then have them alternate or something when you go through. I have to work on that. Um, I think it's a bit dark there. Let's put those there. So let's just quickly check the block light. If we take these out, Good nine, eight. Okay, it goes to eight. So that's all right. What if we put torches there? Obviously, it'll be a bit brighter because it'll be a redstone lamp. But I want to see. Okay, it does go down to six. So I don't think we can do the old. We can't. We can't do it. So the alternators go down. Hmm. I still have to work on the lighting, but I do like these pillar designs. So let's take these out, and I can just run that over there as well. So, I might change these to something else, but I do like how, you know, it's just a bit different. Did I not put water back there? Whoops. Let's get in there. I just made a quick infinite source down here for me to do this with, if I'm going to do this all the way down. There we go. Um, I could put lighting behind these. You can't really see it though. Um... We can kind of see that, but oh, of course it won't go through because these are solid blocks. They still stop light. So I don't know if I'm going to do anything back there or not. Can't get that either. Damn it. But yeah, I quite like this design how it looks. Um, this I'm definitely going to keep. Got to work on something to do with the floor and the roof. And these are obviously going to be extended to have their own thing. Uh, I'm also going to just take these out quickly so I can move this torch. Is my inventory full? My inventory is full. Uh, blah. Okay, so that needs good there. No, not you. Then, do I have any clean stone? Oh, I do. That's good. Okay, so take that out. Again, my inventory is full. I'm terrible at inventory management. Okay, so we, all we want to do now is stick that there and those there. So now that that's nothing, nothing's changed there. It's just one block forward. Yeah, I think that looks better. And then we can obviously put the pressure plate down here. 
and that should all work fine. Got to work out what to do with these. What if I put just an extra row of iron along that? Just make it too thick. I think that works. Hmm. It just feels a bit square now. So I might try and do something with these corners. Just so it looks a bit less square. I know it's Minecraft, everything's meant to be squares. But that looks a bit better to me. But obviously I need to do something back there and I can't just use iron blocks as a ladder. Right. Obviously because now that's blocked by the iron. What if we put one back there? Mm. I might change that to the wool. Right, let's get these minecarts out of my inventory. Right, let's take that out and let's fill it with wool. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that might be better. I just um having solid squares is never something that's really appealed to me. I prefer to have um at least some definition and shape like this. Yeah, I do like how that feels though, and I do like how these look because they're just a bit different than the usual. So I am gonna do all that off camera. Uh, I might live stream it. it. Depends if I'm in a talking mood or if I just wanna grind it out. So. Uh, yeah, okay, let's hop up here. But I think we've done quite a bit today. Or at least I've covered quite a few things I wanted to talk about today in regards to this station. So this is probably going to take me about two or three more episodes, maybe. I'm not sure. It'll definitely take me at least another one because I want to finish this room off. And this will, I'll do all this off camera because this will just be repetitive until I come and do some lighting. So that will probably be another episode. Uh, not worried about that either. But yeah, um, as usual, feel free to comment and all that. And if you've got any ideas for other ways I could make this look uh, futuristic or sci fi or steampunk, you know, I don't, I'm just, just trying to try a different theme. So any suggestions are very welcome. And um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Toodles.